So you want to install custom RAM or GSI without those complicated commands, right? That is why I created this automation script that lets you install GSI without even having knowledge or having deep knowledge about it. You just click and apply. So if you are interested in improving your device performance and maybe less bloatware, just follow me. So first download the GSI auto flasher created by me in the description below. Then head over to your favorite browser, then we're gonna install the ADB Fastboot platform tools because they are the files needed to be able to install the GSI. Also download the Google USB driver, also known as the ADB bootloader interface so that the device is recognizable when we turn it into fastboot mode and avoid those can detect fastboot devices problem. And so once downloaded, just extract those two because of course they are compressed. And this Google USB driver is what we're gonna need in the device manager in case your phone is currently not recognized as ADB bootloader interface or if your device is detected as a non-device or just your phone name. And so head over to your phone, go to the settings and make the developer option appear because we're gonna need to enable USB debugging to make modifications possible. After enabling the setting, a prompt should appear that says we allow the PC to modify the phone. And if there is not, that's why we downloaded the driver. So head over to the device manager. But take note that I already installed this. That's why it already says ADB bootloader interface. So if it isn't, then just follow this to install the driver. And now it's installed. We're done in setting up. The process later should be smooth and easy. And so inside the platform tools, just type cmd in its directory so that we can access the interface. And then we're gonna put adb devices to see if it is recognizable. And here is the command that I'm referring to. This is the prompt. Just allow this to be able to modify our phone. And then we're gonna type adb reboot bootloader so that we can turn our phone into fastboot mode. To make sure, we can type fastboot devices to see if it is de detected, and so it is. So once we're done, just copy all these files inside the platform tools and paste it inside the GSA flasher script by me. So that we can access this script that check what active partition we are in. Just click that. And it says we are in slot A, which is the key to ensure that we can install the GSI inside it. And now that we know our active slot, copy all this file again and put it in the current slot A folder. Also, don't forget to move the images folder too, because later on we're gonna put the GSI there. The BV meta is already provided. It is compatible to all device. And here is our GSI. Just rename it to system.image and paste it inside the images folder. And now done. We just click it step by step and maybe you're welcome.
To ensure that this clip will basically work for any phone, this is my second phone by the way, which is the Infinox, <laughs> Infinix Note 50. And I also added some update to the script. The process, however, is still the same. And that's it. This is GSI Android 16 by the way, installed and smooth. Less bloatware and more performance compared to the stock. And so yeah, that's it. Hope it helps you all.